Hi, and welcome to the Flux channel. Today I'd like to present the advantages of using the SPAT revolution when mixing in stereo. If this kind of content interests you, feel free to subscribe to the Flux channel and activate the bell to stay informed of future videos. So here I have a multi-track acoustic recording in Reaper that I'm going to play for you now. This track sits somewhere between jazz and world music and is composed of drums, marimba, vibraphone and trombone. If we were to now go through the next logical steps of a mix, we would balance out our levels, create a stereo image, and then later, using reverb, model our acoustic space. Throughout these stages, we would have to use faders, panning, auxiliary sends, etc, etc. But wouldn't it be simpler to just manipulate the feature that interests us the most, i.e. the position of a source in an acoustic space? And the SPAT revolution enables us to do exactly that. So, here we have the setup page of the SPAT revolution, with our sources here corresponding to those in our Reaper session. These are routed into a stereo room with an angular pan axis. The room itself is then routed to the master, leading to an output that sends the signal back to Reaper. So now let's look at what's happening in our room. Here to the left I have all my sources, and they're in the centre of our stereo system, represented here by these two squares. Seen as we're in stereo, we can't pan things further to the left than our left speaker, nor further to the right than our right speaker. So I shall now create my mix. So in very little time, and in a very organic fashion, we managed to create a sound stage. I find that moving our sources on this two-dimensional map makes much more sense than using faders and pots as we really move into a perceptive realm of sound manipulation. To finish this tips video, I'd like to show you this mix alongside an equivalent mix made in Reaper. In comparing the two results, I find that with the help of the SPAT revolution, the sound stage immediately comes to life, and for me, the next decisions of the mix become a lot more apparent.
Once again, if you've enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And on that note, I'll see you very soon in a future video.